Happy 420, Dr. Stoner fans. You know, I think I speak for myself and a bunch of people in the Crunchy World comment session when I was saying this. When we read the episode title that said First Contact, <laughs> this is not what we thought. Perhaps us who watch Spy Family should pay more attention. Now. Damn. I didn't really speak on this too much. I had referenced it a couple of times, but when it comes to the certain piece of this Dr. Stone fan base, a lot of people was actually rather happy that we went back into the whole creating the world science narrative. In the last few episodes, including that OVA, I didn't watch OVA yet, but people was liking it. They was like ecstatic about the fact that we was moving forward with the world, because as much as we liked season two, the whole war thing kind of derailed that in a sense. <clears throat> and I get it. It's just that, damn. It's one of those things like before you watch the episode when you go in the country for a comment section, you're able to try to hide the spoilers. But after you watch the episodes, then the spoilers are kind of there. And the only thing that people were saying was that, how the story starts now. Playing devil's advocate, it's been three seasons, the story started nigga. However, Zinku on the other line, somebody who also has a phone that is presumably responsible for the perfect what? The person that caused the stone world? I wasn't certain that one, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. But it also kind of ties into a theory I was thinking about because I asked myself, how do you end this series? How do you completely rebuild civilization, which honestly, if you're gonna actually put that all on the table the way it's like that, the only way you pull that off is for big ass freaking time skip. However, with the progression that we have been making, let's forget the rest of the series right now, just in these last few episodes at the start of season three, freaking oil. We're making a GPS system. We got gasoline. We got suits. The progress we have made is kind of cameras. You niggas can make YouTube videos. And that doesn't show you something right there. Even going back into the final season, when it, the last season, that final season, when we was making, pulling up films and stuff, and we froze to Basa. We were definitely thinking about the future. It is kind of crazy. So, seeing something that could kind of derail us off that path, even if it's just for plot-wise, story-wise. It's not really surprising in the hindsight, because we kind of been moving. You know, Steam Guerrero, whoever it is, though, you're getting run over. Sinku look grown as hell. I don't know where he got on the other line of that phone. This is exhilarating. Can't even call that a JoJo face. This man was just like, bro. What's the fact that he's one of the skinnier members of the community? That guy would have buffed up probably when he did it. <laughs> I mean, this man's face got long as hell. <laughs> Let me stop. Talk about he was waiting for this moment <laughs> this whole time, even while he was just as stone at 3,700 years. Like, <laughs> I don't even know where to go from there. Like, <laughs> a little war on our hands. Like, what's, what's, what's going on for real? <laughs> presumably, when, if you made a world, the stone world, what did you do again? I'm not trying to foreshadow in there, but. Anyways, when it comes to the rest of the episode, right? <laughs> Besides the last couple minutes, we got Sue come back. Mm hmm. Going around like she's a slime or something. And that whole thing with the boy was actually pretty funny. So he walking around talking about we gotta find this oil, yo. <laughs> and then he was just like, alright, let me think. <laughs> then he remember the boy was smelling like oil, he didn't have to run back to the freaking franchise. I was hoping I could finish this video before that long oil guy that was outside came to this side of the house. Well, I gotta turn up the beat on this video. Also, the whole day with the truffles was also kind of funny. Like, bro, you know we about to eat you, right? You, 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 you decide right now if you're gonna be useful or not. There was that GPS scene where everybody was just looking like, how the fuck, but besides Chrome, because you know. Did Kukaku get challenged? Kukaku was just like, because you know, in the beginning, the old man was talking about, so, hey, you know, at least all these seven advantages, we can have a line on you for your eyes like that no more. Next scene, she get a photograph, she is focused as hell trying to find something with her eyes. <laughs> I seen that. That ain't even a hint of jealousy, just a hint of, hmm. You don't need me. Don't depend on me. You just don't, are you saying you don't need me? Are you saying it's past it? Mm hmm. Old girl felt challenged. <laughs> she did it though. I mean, hey, she did it though. She was right. I guess that's right. Here we are. I mean, Senku's the definition of that, huh? And they used that thing to make a boat. I'm on a boat. Freaking crazy how we were talking about the Sting Gorilla too. So much last week. Yeah, this is the moment where we actually think about traveling. It is summer though. We just left Japan. We think about all this crazy stuff going around that, you know, one of your things where you think you went a long distance, but really in reality you haven't. But what has been long is apparently detached patches of time in this show. That long boy bitch out there just pissed me off, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. I said what I basically needed to say. That guy's pissed me off. Oh, don't leave now. Don't leave now. Oh, he going Oh, so he, he just gonna turn back on. I hate where I live. I don't know if I ever said that. But yeah, I'm out, y'all. Drop out this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Subscribe to this. Been moving.